the twists and turns, another no pun intended, the delays and disappointments, I stayed with it. I asked myself, what the hell was I thinking? I had a lot of come to Jesus talks with myself, like, what are you doing? But something made me keep going. I don't know what that was, but there was something. There was something there guiding me, something powerful. I don't know. I just kept up. I kept going. I had blinders on. I was just like, guys, I don't know. I just kept going. And I, I just, I just, I sit here and think, and it kind of plays in my mind all just really fast. The forty years, I get kind of, oh, I just get anxious thinking about it sometimes. Oof, it's all going to be in my biography, <laughs> which we were talking about my finding my purpose in writing. That my I signed a deal with a publishing company, and my biography is going to be out in the spring of 2023. So I'm very excited. And here we are, full circle, full tree of life. <laughs> but what what would what would blossoming in your life look like? If you ask yourself this, okay? What would blossoming look like to you? Would you be willing to wait like days and months and years if necessary? 40 years like maybe me? If you knew that's how long it would take for a higher dream to blossom in your life, would you do it? Would you take that steps? Would you? T- right now, you all 19-year-olds or, you know, whatever, 20, listening to my story and knowing that it may take you 40 years. 40 years. Would you still do it? Sounds exhausting, don't it? Just hearing it, it makes it exhausting. But would you still do it? Would you put in the work? Exactly. Fucking crazy. (laughs) I want to go beat my head on the wall right now. But this is what I call like, like wonder questions. Okay. Questions that are not meant to be answered in the traditional linear way. They just, they invite you in. They just invite you, right? To to contemplate them, savor them, live them. Like I say, some things just can't be rushed. So, in your little practice for the week, and guys, get your journals ready. So, in your little practice for the week, when it comes to self-realization, where do you think you are in the cycle of sleep, creep, and leap? Hmm. Just kind of think about it. And then would it be okay with you if it took some years to fully bloom? Like 40 years like it did me. Use this week to reflect on the wonder questions of this lesson in your journal or just choose others that may have come up over the past few weeks like... Maybe that what motivated you to go on this journey. What made you pick up that journal book and say, God, this sounds interesting. I'm going to do this with her on the podcast. On your own time, whenever you listen, you might have to go back and listen to the other two to catch up. But what made you do that? It's interesting, isn't it? You want something new. And in the meantime, you can start building this year and be a part of that blossoming. I love it. Just use this week to reflect on the wonder questions in this. And then just, you may, well, just, or choose others that may have come up over the past few weeks. Like maybe what motivated you to go on this journey. Notice the little blossoms, the little glimmers of light or or that are the beginning to reveal themselves since you began this course. Just something. Maybe something is beginning to reveal itself to you since you began this two weeks ago, right? So in your journal, there's a couple questions to write down. And then you just answer them on your own time until next week. And the first one is, where in the cycle are you 
and how do you feel about it? Okay. And then the second one is like, what blossoming, what is blossoming in your life might look like? You know, like if I, you know, this, if you took the time to allow it to happen, what, 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 what does blossoming look like in your life and feel? All right. And then third one would be like, what is wanting? What is wanting to reveal itself to you? What is it? Is there something that's wanting to reveal itself to you? Ah, I like that. Write that down and, and, and fill it out. And then the last one is shifts and insights that are bubbling up. All right. Just like shifts and insights that are bubbling up for you already since you began three weeks ago or two weeks ago or whatever. All right. That's kind of fun. I love it. No rush. Some things are not to be rushed, my dear. <laughs> I love it. It's fun. It's innovating. It'll just, it gives you different outlooks and no pressure and it's just different beginnings different different depth to search to fill and not feel rushed all right guys i hope you had a great time i did too i love this i love simplifying your life especially oh now more than ever i feel cleansed <laughs> Oh, I hope you have a great week, guys. And um, I can't wait. Guys got questions? Go over to my YouTube. It gets downloaded on my YouTube. You can ask questions there. I go in there once a week, check them out, and I answer. Um, otherwise, listen to on all the other platforms, whatever podcast platforms that you have. We're on there across the board. Um, and, yeah, again great things. I will. I promise. I said I'm going to do it and I am. I'm going to have guests. <laughs> I am. I swear. All right, guys. Uh, take care. I will see you next week. Bye.